As the investigation into the hazing scandal at De La Salle High School in Warren continues, a social media threat puts the school on lockdown. That lockdown happened right before a group of students planned to walk out in protest to support the three football players who were suspended in connection with an alleged locker room incident. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us what led to today's lockdown. When they were in bats, uh, they were going to bring a machine gun. That's what was said on social media, sparking a lockdown at De La Salle Collegiate High School, according to Warren Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer. He says it started when students tried organizing a protest on Snapchat. This screen grab was sent to us by a parent who did not want to be identified. The protest was supposed to take place this morning around 1045, but school officials called police a little before 10 when they learned of the social media threat. Police arrived to the school and the lockdown was lifted by noon. And today's incident comes as the St. Clair County Prosecutor's Office continues their investigation into the hazing scandal. And they asked for a furtherance on the case, which means that they're asking our detectives here in Warren to interview a number of individuals again, or even new individuals that haven't been interviewed. In October, we learned about the allegations of a hazing incident involving football players using a broomstick in a sexual manner on another player who was being held down. By November, the school canceled its football season. Since then, three players have been suspended. Those students are now suing the school for racial discrimination because they say of the 13 students initially implicated, the only ones suspended are minorities. And as we previously reported, the head football coach is now off the job. Dwyer says his detectives have been trying to learn more about the hazing allegations, but the students involved have been less than cooperative. They pretty well shut down on us, uh, including some of the staff members shut down. And as of now, no charges have been filed. And as for today's threat, police found it not to be credible. In Warren, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thank you.